Oh, hello there. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've got a very large donations bin that we are going to be filling up today. Let me just set it down. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about eight fashion trends that I personally think are a little out of style. And I'm fully aware that I'm probably going to be offending some people with this video. That is not my intention. So let me just go over a few quick things. Number one, I'm fully aware I'm very trendy right now. This was not the, this was a bad outfit choice for this video because I guarantee you in like a year, maybe less, maybe next month, this is gonna be out of style. And I'm gonna like, they're gonna be ripping me to shreds in the comment section. So let's just move on from that. Number two, some of these things I actually really like. So I'm not saying that they suck. However, I think that the things that I'm gonna be pointing out today are they've had their time and and they're kind of, they're we're, we're moving on from them. And I'll be sharing some things that I think are coming in its place and some, some helpful tips for you guys. And then finally, you don't even have to listen to anything that I say today. If you love something or if you think it really flatters you, then keep it because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I say or what anyone else says. So without further ado, Actually, just consider subscribing down there. That would be great also, but let's get started. Number one is cold shoulder tops. And what's funny is my shoulders are, <laughs> they're, they're quite cold right now. Uh, but what I actually mean are actual cold shoulder tops. So basically they are a top that are sleeved, but there's this interesting hole in them. It's, it's quite breezy. It, it actually makes the shoulders kind of cold. So it's a fitting name, but I, these, I, I really think this was kind of like a fast trend. You saw them everywhere. I had so many, I had sweaters, I had t-shirts, I had blouses. Guys, I, I think that shoulders are still in. We all, we like shoulders. So, you know, this is, off the shoulder is good. Maybe one side off the shoulder. Let's embrace the shoulders, but cold shoulders, let's, let's just take this off here and let's, let's add it to the donation bin, shall we? Number two are short sleeve sweater shirts. These are just, they're just kind of confusing because usually when you think of a sweater, it's, it's, they're, they're meant to keep you warm and cozy, yet, yet these are sh short sleeve. There's, there's even like a, a turtleneck, like a high neck thing going on, yet it's short sleeve. So not only do I feel as though these are a little bit dated, I feel like maybe I'll be saying that word a lot in this video. This is a little bit dated, but also it's just not very practical. Like when are you gonna wear this? In the summer when it's hot, but then you don't really wanna be wearing this material or do you wear it in the winter, but then you're just actually cold. I don't really know. Nevertheless, either way, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry if you like it. Let's, this is a fun video, guys. Let's be happy. We're making donations, yeah. Oh my good Lord, how do people wear these? My head is killing me. I can't wear it, I'm sorry. We're, we're done with that. Um, maybe that just looks better anyway. I don't know. Let's move on to number three. Fur mules. And this, guys, is a trend that I almost jumped on the bandwagon, but I, I refrained. I am not knocking mules. I have so many mules. Let me just go get some. I have many mules. I've got heeled mules. I've got white and black mules. See, these are black. I've got really nice white ones. I love mules. Mules are great. They're comfy. They're kind of like clogs, but they're very stylish. And th the thing is Gucci, hold on one moment. Gucci started this trend where they, they, they put fur. It was actually like really high quality fur on the back of their mules. And everybody loved them. I think, I think they were comfortable. They were kind of cozy and warm, um, but they got very matted down. You would walk in dirt and mud and they would get gross. Um, so I feel like that fad has kind of come and gone. Uh, I think you can still buy them, but I don't think people are necessarily buying them that much, but people are buying mules, just regular mules. And I can link some of my favorites down below because guys, I love them. They're instant style elevation purchase. I love them. Highly recommend mules. Ugh. Highly recommend mules, just no fur, anti-fur, faux fur. My hair is so bad. Number four are hoodies. Now I, I have mentioned these in previous videos and I was corrected. I agree that hoodies technically never go out of style. We just all love them. We have, we have a bunch of them in our closet. They're just staples. But I do think that a certain type of sweatshirt is a little more in style right now than hoodies. So let me just grab, let me grab a hoodie as an example and then I'll show you what I think is more in style that you can kind of supplement for the time being. This is just one of my many hoodies. It's a Steelers hoodie. Go Pittsburgh. 
sports team plug. I have a lot of hoodies and, and I'm not saying they're terrible, but I do think crew necks are where it's at. So this is my favorite sweatshirt right now. It says Vogue. I wear it all the time. I get so many questions about it. It's it's by Ellen M. She's a really good friend of mine. She has an amazing apparel store online. Um, you can use code SHAY10 and you'll save 10%. I love her t-shirts, her sweatshirts, her sweatpants, it's amazing quality. So crew necks are where it's at. This is what I'm always reaching for. So you don't need to get rid of your hoodies. Maybe downsize some of them because they take up so much space, but try a good old crew neck out. They're stylish and comfy. The next item that I personally think are kind of out of style, this, this, this might be the one, guys. This Usually every time I do this kind of a video, there's like one item, everyone's like, no, this is the best thing in the world. Like, how could you say it? This is classic. It might be this. Um, but I personally think that ba ballet, ba ballet flats are a little bit out of style. Um, first of all, they just kind of look like slippers. I mean, maybe that's a good thing. You, you'll, you'll be comfortable when you're walking out there, but um, they're, they're very rounded. They're very Chanel-esque, which is kind of classic. So, I mean, th there's some arguments to be had both ways, but I really, really believe that um, flats that are pointed or uh, maybe have a little bit more elevation and they're not so flat, they have maybe like a slight heel or a little bit more in style and on trend right now. So hair update number two. Uh, yeah, my hair looks really bad. Uh, this is why I don't wear my hair up that much. It doesn't look good. Number six are the peplum waist tops. I really struggle with this one because I actually quite like it. I feel like it's very, very flattering on many, many body types. It really flatters the waist because it, it, it kind of like defines the waist. It gives a nice hourglass look. The bottom is kind of like shaped. It's just, it's really, it can be really nice. So for this suggestion, I don't, I do kind of think it's kind of like an out of style, kind of has a dated look depending on the type of shirts you have. What I suggest is is don't donate this, don't trash it. Just move it aside in your closet. Put it, maybe put it to the side and I'm telling you guys, bust this out later on. It's gonna come back. I know it's gonna, everything's probably gonna come back, but I think this is gonna come back. And when you really wanna just feel good and like show off your waist, just wear this. This is this is a bad suggestion. I like it guys, I like it. Number seven and eight are the sock sneakers and the wedge sneakers. Both have had their time. So um, the the sock sneakers, they were big by Balenciaga. Uh, they're in rap songs, people rap about them. The wedge sneakers, also a very confusing shoe. They are heels, yet they are sneakers. Do you run in them? Probably not. Also the dad sneakers, guys, I'm sorry to say, but the, these are still, they're, they're in still. People are still loving these. I secretly like them too. I, I bought these and I tested them out for a video. I really haven't worn them since, but there's a part of me that's, that kind of likes them. These are Adidas. I feel like they're good. If you want to try out the trend, I recommend these. Um, they're kind of ugly, yet kind of cool at the same time. But I really think that next year, we're gonna be saying bye to that trend. So uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you weren't offended. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.